Evening guys and welcome to the next installment of our video. I am the Kamikaze Worm, this is Mr. Proton. Uh, today we're gonna to be uh, reviewing a brand new product, uh, new DDA dripping out miser. Um, I'll let you take it away soon. <laughs> you can see as you've forgotten what you were saying. Yeah, I just don't know. Um, it's yeah. half 12 at night, man. I've been working, <laughs> I've been working since 10 o'clock and this is obviously another installment of My Life, The Worm. He started at two, I wanna point out, not 10. Given it all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, anyway. Brand new product, totally wicked, DDA, direct drip atomizer. Um, I bought it, basically ordered it the day that it went onto the site, which is a couple of days ago, just to delivery of it. Haven't seen any videos on it so far, so hopefully this helps someone who's making their choice. Um, there's also another name for it off of ecwizard.co.uk, and it is the Olympian? Is it Olympian? Octopus. Oh, Octopus, sorry, Octopus RDA, exactly the same See, product. I'm not the only one Slightly more expensive, um, but this is the first time I've seen this um, at the director at Atomizer, and um, I'm hoping, fingers crossed, it's going to be absolutely amazing. So, just remember before we get to the unboxing, uh, you will need to buy a drip tip if you don't already have one available. So, you've um, got an overall cart to take you that one, but yeah, yeah drip tip, cut the quid, no big deal. Um, okay, so we've look, got it in the box here, unbox it for you, okay, take delivery. Nice little presentation foam spongy thing there. I'll stop vaping for now. Stop vaping yeah. for now. In there you've got the DDA. Uh, that I think looks wicked. It's it's small. It's smaller than it looks in this video, but it's nice and tiny. Right. Like, um, so it does look wicked. In there you also get a spare coil. Um, totally wicked. Are classing this as a replacement coil system. Um, the product itself was seven ninety nine, and it comes with two of these coils. One installed. One in this packet here. Um, and then I think spare coils is two ninety nine for three, which is where I think Totally Wicked are going to be making their money. Personally, I will never be buying a replacement coil purely because we can wick ourselves. Um, and you can wick better than they come out. Yeah, that's the first one I we mean, get into. The first thing I noticed about these coils is they don't seem all of that. To be honest with you, the spacing doesn't seem to be great. I think you're going to need to tweak them slightly before you burn it on, but. Small price to pay, and if you want to get into rebuildables, we can't be bothered to lace coils and buy canthar wall, nick rome, and wick, and so on and so forth. If you just want something that's going to work, then fair enough. And to be honest with you, if you're doing one coil a week, it's only costing you a coil a week, so it's, not, ex them. it's not expensive. Um, but they're a lot cheaper to make yourself, and you can customise it so you can have the lower well, we've or the just higher. Bought, uh, how much did we buy? We've, we've, 189 just, we've just bought 50 grams of. Uh, 32 gauge canthole which works out to be about nearly 200 meters of the stuff and that's cost us a grand total of 23 pound or about that's 30, including delivery. dollars that's including delivery so astronomically good price um and obviously wick is cheap from even the vaping stores you know what i mean you don't really need to ebay it liberty flights i think i mean you, you will get a bigger bulk in from ebay but <coughs> if you just want a little bit as you go along five you're still gonna get for five meters three quid. and you can buy two of them at a time yeah 10 meters done. is going to last you long enough. And, and they are really, really cheap. So um, re-wicking these is going to be easy. I think, like I say, the wicks is really going to make the money. Um, this itself, I can't imagine they're making loads of money on it. Uh, first impressions. It is pretty cheap, though. It, oh, it is cheap. $7.99. Um, I paid $7.99 plus $2.99 delivery, and I used the discount code that was on uh, Twitter. So I think I paid £10.10 £10 for it delivered. You can't really argue with that, to be honest with you. Um, it does look like a nice little product. I really like the way this looks. Um, my first initial impression, so you got you take it out, you've got your prongs, positive and negative, you've got your wick already installed and it's got five wraps in now. These are two ohms, two to two point two they say, and that's what they all are when you buy them. Um, so if you're using a bit of cantho, you can probably get it down to about one point five. If you're gonna use a higher resin chrome, then you're probably talking about two point eight to three point four, but that's your preference. Your depending you're, on using a mod or a standard ego battery. Just depending doesn't, on what you're going to use. doesn't really matter, but also, obviously, if you're used to re-wicking, if you've got Argos and Igos and stuff like that, then you're going to have all the gear you need to do this with anyway, so, yeah, it's not bad, but there's a, there's a nice load of wicks in there, it is, it's really nice and hairy, so you're going to have a lot of, uh, a lot of um, wick for that juice to be absorbed into. A uh, couple of things I want to point out straight away off the bat, impressions-wise anyway, um, basically, your, your positive is your, your, is your middle one and your negative is your left hand side one. Well, I don't know if you can see how clear you can see that, it's not so bad, this camera's a bit of a pain in the arse, there you go, you can see that a bit clearer now. Um, one of the good points of this straight away, I haven't used it yet, but one of the good points of this straight away, I know because I've used Argos and stuff, basically to thread your wires as they made it replacement, you've got two wires on the wick, they go through these posts, there's a hole in the post, you then pull the wire up on each 
and then wrap it around and you just screw them tight. There's no Phillips screwdrivers or anything involved in this, so this is going to be nice and easy to rewick and use. Uh, that's the first positive. Second positive I want to point out is um, basically oh. air hole. Yeah, basically, if you guys out there are using Argus and stuff like that, then you know how important placement of your air hole can be. With this, basically, you've got two O-rings at the bottom, and I don't, again, I don't know about there you go. Just make up that air hole there, okay? Basically, this has got an air hole in it as well, and it slots over. The air hole's in between the O-rings, so it doesn't matter where you line this up. That air hole leads to a direct port directly underneath the wick. Again, up the, there you go. You can just see that raised lip there underneath the wick. That is your air hole. It's coming straight up past that wick. In terms of placement, you can't get any better. Um, that, I haven't tried it yet, but we're going to in a second. I can imagine it's going to be fucking wicked. Um, perfect for the air hole. Like I say, the coils that they've re-wrapped for you or wrapped for you straight away on the wick, I'm looking at these now. I'm going to need to play with the spacing a little bit before I spark this up because it's just not going to heat that evenly. But that's a two second job with a flathead screwdriver. Um, oh, saying that also, there's a little rubber stopper at the bottom of the posi that's lifted a little bit. But let's face it, guys, you're buying drip dripping atomizers and rebuildable tanks and stuff. You buy this stuff expecting to play with it slightly. So that's it. First impressions out of the box. Um, the wicking's not great. It's, it's not bad. It's not, but I mean, to be honest, we can do better. You can do better. Just use a paper. Trust me, the first time you're going to do better than what that looks like. It looks like it's just not, being. It's not great. It's not it, bad. I've got it's, it's not horrible by any means, but I reckon. It, but just spending an extra few seconds on wrapping that coil, you're going to do a better job first time every time. Yeah. It's not. It's, it's, there's no way about it. It's, it looks like it's been done by an idiot, but uh, whatever. I mean, um, why is, uh, are you fiddling around with that now? No. Yeah, give us. Uh, what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to basically prime these wicks whilst Worm's talking to you. And he's going to carry on and sort out those wires so they're all heating up evenly so we get a nice vape for you. But I'm going to give you a little. Um, Teaser for what should be coming tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow I have got a delivery coming. Uh, I, we, we, we did say in our last video, uh, ha, 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 moment. Uh, I have just, I, well, so this morning I ordered a Provari Mini vi, vi, um, version 2.5. Um, I've just ordered an expansion cap tonight, but that obviously won't be coming for a couple of days, but we'll, I will have the Provari Mini tomorrow, and there will be a video on that. I've also got um, another Ego battery, which is in or in, or embossed uh, like a, um, the metal has been basically um, painted and uh, it's got like a nice little pattern on it which I bought from a sister which I will be showing uh, we also I've also ordered my other sister a vision twist an ego, ego a joytech e sit twist uh, that's also coming tomorrow so we will be out to do a review on that because he sold his like a minge before we done a review on it so we will have another one of them to do a review for a few days to actually get that done so there should be a, quite a few videos coming tomorrow um, but the main one is going to be the Provari, obviously going through all the settings and how it performs and how beautiful it is. And Probably the Vamo as well. How much it just destroyed my pocket, but whatever. It's nice. Um, we'll probably do the Vamo as well. Get them all out of the way because obviously they're two very big mods. I mean, obviously the Provari is like the most expensive one you can get out there at the moment. They're all more expensive. Is there? Well, they're yeah, you got that. Yeah. Darwin and yeah, stuff but like they that. look but horrible. A, the, I mean, the Darwin is meant to perform brilliant, but. It looks wise, it does look wank, but <laughs> it does, it does, honestly, it's on, on a like scale, a one, one, one to ten, a twisty thing. one to ten, the Darwin is a fucking two, it's and not that's being generous, that's a one, it's meant maybe to perform a amazingly, yeah, if but you're looking you for a performing mind, device, apparently it's meant to be the best, you should bear in mind that that's if you can get one, yes. they are so rare, I'd go for a Provari if you're going to, but Provari is like the most, Common one out there that's the best top of the range apparently. So I bought a Provari Mini. Uh, Mr. Proton's obviously got his um, VV Vamo, obviously that which we were doing as well, which is uh, in its own way for its price is as good Amazing. as a Provari. Uh, price for, his, for, for his price. 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 Well, I mean, it's not as good as Provari in terms of performance, but for the no, price, for its price, entry level mod, mod, forty quid, wicked entry level. Mod. Once you put all the charger and that on top and a few batteries, because he did buy three batteries, two eighteen three fifties. And a 16, 18, 650. 8, 8 and 650. So he's obviously spent a lot on like the two different size batteries you can use in it, and obviously. Says so the person who's just bought two 18, <sighs> 350 Hydrain AWs for his Provari Mini, as well as then going, oh, I might as well get an extension cap, and then on the same day bought two 18, 500 batteries at over 20 quid for the two. 
I don't know what he's talking about. I really don't. <laughs> um, anyway, these will not be being delivered tomorrow, so these I, videos will be up tomorrow night anyway. No, well, the provider will be, and then the extension cap with the extra batteries will be coming later on. Do want to point out, by the way, the intro to this in the last video worked worked reasonably hard on that. 14 seconds took about two hours, so uh, yeah, give us a thumbs up for that because I think we deserve it. Um, getting back onto this anyway, basically, guys, I've just primed these wicks. You can see they're now sort of translucent, covered in liquid. It soaked it all up. Um, the raspberry does smell good. <laughs> it's been a few days since he's yeah, had the raspberry. We've run out. Of well, he's run out. I've been saving this 10 mil for a direct driven atomizer, which I knew he was getting. I was going to buy one, but I didn't because I had, did just spend like 185 pound on a battery or the mod. Then uh, another t 20. He spent over 400 quid today. Let's just yeah. put it that way. Um, which is no, uh, which is about 650 dollars. Lie. Um, but anyway guys, basically this has been primed, I might have over-primed it if anything it's slightly dripped, but basically that's just taken about 25 drops, so I'd recommend for you about 20 drops. Okay, then basically you cap, slot that on there, give it a little twirl, bang on, that's your job. It recommends you now drop a couple of few drops in the top, I'm going to do that anyway just because I can, basically. Okay, so literally choice. no drip tip installed. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, that was a bit quick. <laughs> All right. Give me the raspberry, you're going to waste that. And now we've got we've got <sighs> it full of raspberry. That's not a lot. This is a tip that I bought from Liberty Flights. I think it cost me a grand total of about £1.50. It's a sort of flat, a rounded flat tip, aluminium, that in there. It's kind if of square I do say so, so myself, fuck me, it's gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It is very I nice. I can't help being gorgeous. I'm good. What can I say? That's look at my ruggedness. That, that's as simple as that is. Okay, that wick should last you anywhere between a week and a month, uh, depending on how much you use it and obviously what you what how badly you abuse it. Basically, um, so if you run it seriously high voltages, then yeah, expect it to burn quicker. Sorry, one second. Such a minge. <laughs> All I can say. I'm not professional at all. <laughs> we ain't professionals. We are just winging this. Sorry, guys. we want you to have a laugh, and we don't care if you laugh at us. Just as long as you're having fun. Yeah. I need the vape. Uh, for one thing I want to point out straight vape, away. It's about to vape. Yeah, but it's a pre-vape vape. <laughs> um, <laughs> pre -vape, -vape. Basically, basically, screwing this onto the Vamo, as you can see, it's there. Uh, I can imagine that's probably got a bit more to go on that screw threading, but obviously I can't put it on because I've just primed it and dripped liquid straight <laughs> into it. So. Uh, it's firing, that's the important thing. Uh, basically, first thing first, I'm gonna test the ohms, 2.3 ohms, that is absolutely useless. I, you'd have to take my word for it, peeps. 2.3 ohms. He's lying. 2.3 ohms. lying. I'm gonna run it's this. like 10.8 I'm gonna run this straight, <laughs> <laughs> gonna run this straight on. I don't they know, come out of the number. factory. They come out of the factory, two, 2 to 2.2 .2 ohms. The Vamo can be off by about 1.1 of an ohm. So yeah, I'd say probably a 2.2 ohm coil. Um, I'm gonna run this on four volts just because I can. Uh, and I'm going to give it a couple of prime puffs and let's see how it goes. I do miss the raspberry man. It does smell good. Um, this is first impressions. That core's not bedded in. Um, that has only just been set up. You can <laughs> you can see. Oh. I mean, a part of this reaction is because it's raspberry. Honestly, I I on it, if, if any of you are near us, uh, I will. You can come round and have a vape. Honestly, it's fucking lovely stuff. This raspberry, but we will be making more first impressions of that bad boy. Uh, the vape of it is cool, but not too cool. It's a nice kind of vape. You don't have to draw too hard. For me, the Argus and things like that have got a too airy of pull. <clears throat> they have. They just they're a bit too airy for me. You kind of and your mouth's full before you want to stop. It's kind it of in. in between a Argus and a VV. VV no, what? Nova. Yeah. No, no. They're apparently they're about they're going to be the back the same. But I would like to point out this is vapor wise. It's better than Nova straight away. Um, and oh, yes. this flavor wise off the bat is equal to, if not slightly better than over, and it's embedded in yet. Uh, I, this is gonna be fucking brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, I may have spent 400 pound, I may be spending another eight pound on one of these um, in five minutes. I mean, personally guys, I think it looks wicked. If you're using something like a spinner, then great. It's nice and small, it's big enough to do what it does. Oh, it's it's not like an Igo L where it's not gonna take, it's not gonna take like two and a half minutes of juice plus what you get in the wigs, because it's just not that big. In all honesty, like it's- What you on, 4.2? Compared to a, a cut, uh, no, four. Compared to a cut, tank, it's not as wide, it's not as long, but I, I don't know. It's uh, it's it's good. This, like I say, this is first impressions, guys. We will make another video uh, regarding this probably within the next three or four days once I've had a chance to proper give it a use and abuse. But 
first impressions, that's out of the box. We haven't used that. You've just watched that's me prime the corner. Oh, up at the put the plinth on if you like, mate. But that's out of the box. So that once that's buried in, that's going to be wicked. Bear in mind, this is the six mil DC tank plinth. You can get a mini it. plinth, which fit the nose with minis and stuff like that as well. And that probably going to look better with it. Yeah, it would look better with this tank because that tank's a bit too small. It's um, not far off though, man. It's not far off. But that's it with a plinth. <laughs> Even that ain't too bad. <laughs> um, that looks good. I mean, that's the whole thing together. Yeah, it's a nice, it's a nice looking little piece of kit with that black drip. <laughs> sorry, with that black drip tip as well. I think that looks wicked. Um, you can get these in. You can get these in loads of different colours as well. You can get these in gold, and gold looks brilliant. Yeah, the gold um, kind of looks. Um, I, I want to say bitty, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it kind of looks. Um, Anyone who's used gold spray paint, how that sets go. is basically what they've done is use gold spray paint. Um, but. <coughs> Initial impressions off of this thing, Jesus, I like this. Uh, I do, I really like this. The, the O-ring seals feel nice and tight. It's not too, but there's a decent amount of resistance there. Lucky I, you, we use that liquid that I just dripped <laughs> in the spot. <laughs> and my um, drip tip, again, you can get them any and everywhere. A drip tip of an overall look just as good, but to be honest with you, this is sort of an Addy tank. This is an Addy drip tip. It just looks like they were made to be. It's a match made in absolute heaven, I think. I think that looks fantastic. And well, something like that, really cool. Um, the vape again it's, it's warm enough I think because that air hole straight underneath them coils it's straight past that you're getting all the vape straight into your it I wouldn't say it's as hot as some other like chlorimizers and that but it is a nice warm vape it's not going to be as hot as chlorimizers as face no. the at the head I would like to point out that the flavour of this is getting better and better uh, it's only been used for five minutes um, a few pulls. yeah the flavour of this is, is definitely improving already um, so <clears throat> This this is going to be absolutely stunning in an hour's time. I've got a feeling that I have just fallen in love. Um, <laughs> it could be a new dripper. It could be. I am a I'm a drip. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't want to say it. Basically, that's it about the pimp. I think it looks just as good if I'm honest with you. Yeah, it doesn't look bad. Um, too big, is it? So. I think, should we move on to our little rating thing and then we can have a sort of proper flap about it. Sorry guys, I'm professional, but the paper's over here and we've got what we rate it stuff handwritten on here, just so we try and cover all the bases each and every just time. because we're idiots and we forget and we <laughs> flap a lot, what well, he Basically. does and I have to stop him. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll do this and we'll, we'll give you, like I say, Worm's done a bit of a teaser as to what we're going to be going into uh, over the next two days, three days maybe, and I'm going to I'm gonna do another one afterwards as well. Um, Basically, looks <laughs> it vapes like a steam train, mm, um, and it good. seems to be working really well. Obviously, we're dripping at ease. When they start to get dry, you just drip a few more drips, a few more toots, and you're good to go. Um, in concept, brilliant. And the problem with a lot of this stuff is, in concept, it's brilliant, and in practice, it's not so good. Obviously, this is first impressions, and some people watching this might be going, "Jesus, guys, I mean, you've only just got it, and you're sort of loving it already." Fair enough, I, mean, I don't get excited easily, but this, I, I, I am liking this, okay? Um, but looks my overall appearance. For me- I'm just putting up 10 drips in there, by the way. So that's what I was doing. Jesus Christ, man. Yeah, we're gonna be vaping it, isn't um, it? Anyway, looks my overall appearance. You can get these, I think- I will say that does a click in as well. That dripped it does, not all will, not all will but that would drip yeah. it does. Um, looks my overall appearance with that drip tip, which is again, personal preference, you can have whatever you like on there. Um, I think, I think it's a 10. I really do. I I really like that. And obviously, with it not being a clear oil tank Raven, system, man, it up again. with it not being a clear oil tank system, you don't even see how much liquid you've got in there. You judge by what you're tasting. So it's kind of, it is going back to the old school. It is going back to the old school way of vaping. But they've brought it forward. And from what I've experienced just so far in the last 10 minutes, it's going to be a device that I use a lot. Um, so looks like a for me. Oh, it's got to be a ten. Again, gold, silver. I think purple, blue. They come in loads of colours. So yeah, wicked. Uh, first impressions on the look and appearance for me. Um, I'm not going to give it a ten because I think that's. Eh. I think that's flooded. <laughs> <laughs> that's not. It's fine. Douche. Just suck at her. I know you like to suck. <laughs> 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 The vapor's coming off it amazing. It's just where the air holes, obviously at the bottom, it's obviously going to live, it's just bubbles before you hit. That's the only reason it's fine, it's fine. Flavor's coming out banging though, isn't it? Mm -hmm. um, looks an overall appearance. Uh, I'm not going to give it a 10, but I am going to give it a 9.9. .9. <laughs> it's as high as you get. Because uh, you can't give, uh, I don't know, it's just like giving a 10 is just like. Eh. Given a drip tip of his preference and not mine, that'd be a 10. Oh well, yeah, I, I don't really like the metallic ones, but yeah, it does look good. Um, I'm gonna go Karen because she's vaping. Um, 
Usability. Oh, it's a drip now, so you drip the juice in, you push the button, and off you go. Or if you haven't got a button and you've got an auto draw, auto battery, then you just pull. Whatever. Usability for me. Oh, if, I think, hang on, didn't give it a rating, did I? Oh yeah. Nine. Usability for me. Out of the box, it works wicked. It comes with a wicked installed, you can use it straight away. Uh, wicked. Um, Slight bit tinkering on the wire, maybe. Uh, yeah, but that, I mean, for me, some people may go, oh, I don't have to play around, but you saw it took two seconds. It honestly, two minutes to open a thing, move the coils slightly, just to evenly space them. That's all you need to do. If you've never used coil systems before, all you need to do is make sure them coils are basically evenly spaced, no touching or whatever, just because you'll get hot spots. Um, <coughs> sorry. So yeah, usability for me, bear in mind this is meant to be a replacement coil system, so if you are going to buy the coils, uh, all you've got to do is literally slot, you're such a minge, I'll get on to why I've just called him a minge in a second, uh, all you need to do is slot, mean? yes, <laughs> slot the um, wires through the points, Lights. wrap it around the screw for it, screw it down, job done. Um, this is this is what happens when you let him touch your stuff, you see that harder. liquid there, no it's not that I'm sucking hard onto it, he's basically Having just put over a mill of liquid in myself, he had, I have three pools, he has two pools and assumes it needs more. So, yeah. but no, used properly, let it wick. A uh, uh, prime minute's going to last you 10 minutes vaping, all right, and then a few drops every time you want some after that. So, yeah, I've got some leaking issues going on here basically because. Um, issues, it's well, fine. It's minge, but, um, mate, I'm. I'm past me that tissue, I don't know fucking tissue where it is. Um, that's sweet. Um, yeah, but basically he's just dripped straight down to the well, which may be an issue with this, but for me, no, for him, possibly. No. Um, but That was my fault. Yeah, usability for me, even if you're wrapping your own calls, you're going to be sort of semi-used to it, and if not, give it a go. Honestly, it's fun to do, uh, and with this, it's going to be easy to install them. It's not like an Argo where you need screwdrivers and all this kind of stuff. You're going to need to cut tightness. your wire, use your fingers to stick it all in, and clip off the excess it's going to be that simple you can use wicks of your preference two three four mil one mil in here at the minute there's basically a horseshoe of four mil wicks which amounts to eight wicks four mil sorry four one mil wicks so amounts to eight <laughs> wicks and then you just snip off the ends to make sure that it all fits nice and snug um so usability for me nine and a half are you pushing that top up nine and a half Am I going for maintenance? Or uh, I'll go for maintenance because you're obviously. It's been out. hard to rate maintenance though because uh, we haven't actually maintained it yet, have we? But well, no. But from what we can we, tell is we like we have used rebuildable, so we can. Tell if you, you don't include washing out the, the drip tip, which it, whatever, it's two pieces. I mean, other than reinstalling the coil, I mean, if you're wrapping coils yourself, you know how easy and hard they can be. I mean, and if you're doing it all the time, you're probably going to find it really easy because you're going to be wrapping coils all the time anyway. So. Once you learn how to do the coils, it's going to be a maintenance of probably about nine. If you're not too confident on wrapping around coils and sorting that sort of stuff out, it's still going to be a seven because it's it's not overly hard to wrap. It's just it's just a bit of tweaking here and there. So new to dripping, seven. Do you think? I think if you're new to dripping, this is probably one of the easiest devices actually to use. Yeah, but like I mean, I mean wrapping the, coil. the coils. Oh yeah. If yeah, you're yeah, wrapping yeah. your own coils, it's a seven. If you're buying them and just banging them in, it's a nine easy. You're basically putting the wires in, wrapping around, tighten, done job. That is it. And washing out, it's obviously it's two pieces when you wash it out. What could go wrong? Um, yeah, maintenance, yeah, again, I mean, to be honest, you could probably, no, you could, couldn't really. I mean, you could give the whole assembly a rinse underwater to wash it out and then let it air dry, I suppose, because once you want to do them wires, if you've clicked them tight, you're not going to be able to get them back in properly. So, uh, maintenance, most of you guys are going to be buying drippers to test flavours, so, Washing out may be an issue, but if you're like us and you've just got a flavour you like, raspberry. I mean, we obviously this is our first dripping atomizer. We've used it, but we've um, we talked about making up a flavourless 12 milligram strength just for dripping in to clean the wick through and then obviously put your flavour. We don't know if that's going to work yet, but we will yeah, try it. Work, it will work. We, we we can't see why it wouldn't work, but that's what we're going to experiment with doing. Obviously, instead of having to rinse the coil, dry the coil, put the coil back in all that rubbish, drip a bit of flavours in there, wait until the flavour's gone, put another flu flavour in there to test it out. But we will let you know how that goes in a future update when we actually get there. Yeah. Um, them O-rings, since there's been a bit of liquid on them, have got a bit looser, so it is a bit easier to slide the top off. It's still not anything like the DCT oh, tank. That's still giving it a little tug, yeah, not even moving. It's not like this thing, for Christ's sake, where you're just literally up and down. So, um, but anyway, maintenance, um, well, you can wash the whole thing. 
unless you use, lose one of the screw things that go on the top uh, nine, nine and a half maintenance for that if you're used to re-wicking if you're not there might be a slight bit of sort of a learning curve with it but there is always going to be when you're learning to do rebuildables that's not a reflection on this device that's a reflection on you and learning how you're going to do it and stuff um, so yeah maintenance nine, nine and a half uh, if you're buying the coils it's no, diff no, no more difficult than putting in an atty head I wouldn't have imagined really um, so yeah yeah nine and a half vapor flavor and production um, obviously this isn't bedded in yet we've literally just got this out of the box and started using it um, the there will be an update video to follow though yeah the, we will update you at the end of one of our videos to tell you how it's going after probably tomorrow I've just been bedded in for a day and how it's been going tomorrow the day after we might have what providers and stuff to do tomorrow well. yeah but we'll, we might just throw it in there at the end if we've got a smallish video which you, as you've probably been watching our videos by now you notice that we seem to flap a lot and it seems to go for like 20 minutes to 45 to an hour so <laughs> we don't really know we just kind of wing it and we just keep talking and it just keeps going longer and longer but um, again flavour so far straight out of the box first couple of pulls same as maybe a little bit better than a Nova that's what we've used most so that's what we're comparing it to um, as we've been going on, even with the little flooding issue that was my fault, um, the flavour was banging even more. I would say not double the Nova, but maybe time and a half sort of thing. So flavour and a half, <laughs> if that kind of makes sense to people who've got jobs out there. Um, production, obviously, you can see it's like a, it's a steam machine. It's just coming out. It's just like you can't breathe without there being vapour there. It's a lot, and you don't even have to take massively big pulls on it. You can just take normal, well not normal, a little bit more than obviously a cigarette. Like, the drawer's nice as well, isn't it? Yeah, the drawer is very nice and tight. Well, not too tight, but it's it's, it's loose not as loose. free. It's about the same as Nova. It's about the same as Nova, yeah. Yeah, about the same as Nova. Which maybe a, maybe slightly looser than the Nova, but nowhere near your Argus and all that sort of stuff, which we find a little bit too loose. But we're used to the tighter drawer, so it is depending on what you prefer and how you get it working. So flavor out the box, it's an eight. Once we get it just after a few minutes of vaping it's an eight and a half hopefully tomorrow we can tell you it's going to be a ten but we'll, we'll get to there tomorrow so production obviously out of the box straight away the vapor was immense it's a nine <coughs> hopefully tomorrow we can tell you it's going to be a ten and you won't be able to see us you'll just be vapor everywhere <laughs> it'll just be an audio <laughs> uh, vapor and flavor for me flavor out of the box better than over all right if you watch the videos that we've already done, you know that praise doesn't really get much higher than that, to be honest, from me anyway. Flavor out of the box better than over. Now, it's only been bedding in for about 10, 15 minutes. Um, we've been, this raspberry's been made for about two weeks, okay? When it was first made, it had such a nice punch, um, and it's still very good. But it's not it's a flavor still, punch, a flavor punch. Yeah, flavor punch, it was just very nice. Um, and it's dropped off slightly after it's been steeping. It's still very nice, it's mature, but it's dropped off in the punch of the flavor. This has reminded me of the first day I tried the raspberry. That's, in my opinion, how good the flavour is on this. Um, for me, flavour is like a 9.8 so far. This is out of the box review, all right? There will be a living with review following. But yeah, flavour out of this so far is a lot. It's, <laughs> it's good, it is really good. Um, vapour, you've seen it yourself. Um, the Nova was our benchmark, if you like, because that's kind of where we've leveled off as one of the best sort of things you can buy so far for no, everyday use. Mine. Yeah, but even still, against the Kaito tanks, still I'd say the Nova over the Kaito tanks. Yeah, um, the Kaito tanks provided a thicker, stronger vapor and a different take on the pardon me, a different take on the flavor, if you like. But we did get a uh, obviously a message from Hot Dog, our main subscriber at the moment, who seems to comment on all our videos. Um, obviously, he said like with the Kaitos, obviously if it does break where you got juice in there. You're potentially losing like a mil and a half well, of juice well, to six mil of juice, depending on what cars you're using. Well, no, not six mil. If you're using, I mean, hot no, dogs. Talking, about, talking the, about the mega cars. Yeah, the mega three cars. In the car, there you go. Your but if you're using a tank system, you can probably salvage like four mil of that juice. But it depending on if you take the, the liquid. Yeah. If you take the liquid, you obviously lost the six mil of juice in the tank and in the car if you just filled it. It's so, gone. Yeah. So yeah, it is downside to them. But with this. Not so much, but the vapor of this, getting back to what I was saying, sorry, the Cartos were better than the Nova, but not by a mile. This is better than the Nova for, for vapor, and again, this is out the box. Um, those of you out there who use this kind of stuff will know how important it is to let this stuff bed in, um, and out the box, it's better than Nova. I mean, this may change, this may go downhill as opposed to up. I can't see it. Keep a um, But yeah, vapor flavor for me, 
it starts at 9.9 it really is wicked um, and production nine and a half ten it's just uh, pretty much as high as you're gonna want to go with it and this isn't a high VG concentrate yet so which we will be going this is a 50 50 mix that would explain why there's loads of vapor if it was 100% VG it's not this is a 50 50 mix this is vaping like a hundred percent VG liquid there we go overall rating um, out of the box so far you've got to give it a 9.5 overall it's just it's a beautiful little drip atomizer it's beautiful I've got nothing else to say that it's over, just, over it's for me I think it'd be <coughs> rude not to give it like out of the box this is a 10 living with will be coming and I don't see it going down I am in love honestly <laughs> I really am I mean it's, this is just a fantastic little piece. Bearing in mind, I dropped this off to him at work. I've been waiting all fucking day for what this. What time About 12. I've had this since about, I've had this for say 13 hours. It's now one o'clock in the morning. <laughs> All right. And he's literally just got it out of the box. He yeah. waited for this video. Yeah, for I, wanted, you guys. I wanted to unbox it for you. I wanted to say it was an unbox, so it wasn't kind of like a biased opinion or whatever else. It's not biased, but you know what I mean. So basically, you could experience it with us. Um, and we are using the flavour that we do love. We have done 120 odd mil. 140 mil. 140 mil. flavour in two weeks. Okay, so it is a flavour we love. And I love it in my Nova. I love it in my Clearer Tank. I love it in this so far i mean really like i want to i mean funny that hole was bigger right. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah overall rate for this nine and a half ten easily easily um for the price seven pound 99 from totally wicked dash e liquid the coat uk we'll link in the description for you um for the price oh i mean i will say you can also get this on ESIG wizard as well which it is another pound but obviously, like depending on if you want it now and it's in stock in one place or the other, you're gonna buy it. With that, does it come in a set though? I don't. Did it, does it have two coils with it? I didn't read. We will. Uh, the link will be in the description. You can have a look for yourself if you like. But I mean, personally, I'd recommend Totally Wicked because you've got the Germany branch, you've got the UK, and you've also got your, your .com for um, for the, you, you guys in the US. Um, for what it is, for the for the price of the thing, so say so thirteen, fourteen dollars. Uh, sorry, fifteen dollars delivered. Uh, 10 quid delivered without a drip tip obviously but most of us have got these um, two coils so even if you're into rebuildables you haven't going to have to worry you can just use it out of the box prime it which takes two seconds and off you go it's not like priming a car oh. um, honestly I, this isn't just me bigging it up I, I really like this I really like this um, there's a little dripping at a wicked and to be honest with you unlike things like the bigger Igo L where it's got a pole where the liquid sits because this hasn't you basically just drip directly onto the coils it's not designed to sit liquid it just sits in the wicks I can see me using this at work tomorrow um, I can and I honestly I won't take my he doesn't realise he won't have raspberry at work but I will have everything else that I've got <laughs> and I've got so many flavours it's ridiculous um, I won't take my Argo T to work for example because it's just a bit too much of a pain in the ass. it's heavy it's big it's cumbersome this is about just slightly wider than a V3, and like take the tip out, and Jesus Christ, it's like, you know what I mean? It's, look at it, it's like an inch and a half big, if that. So, what, banging, absolutely banging. What's it compared to? Compared to the plinth, three of the plinths? Three of the plinths, so it's like three of them high. To see here, something that's designed to bend it. And obviously, if you had this on some like, really small battery, but anyway, suddenly this, they come with two ohm cartridges, you could use this on a 3.7 quite happily. We're on. Four volts now, but you could use it on me. We'll try out three point seven for you. there. You could use that on a normal ego all day long, all day long. Um, What's so the flavor like on three point seven? Just so not like quite as strong. Not no. quite strong on three point seven, but you could use it all day long. I think to be honest with you, though, the wicks are slightly going a bit dry. Might need to drop a couple of drops in there in a minute. Um, but yeah, I said it takes it probably back down to about a Nova sort of standard, but. But again, I think it might because it needs another yeah. colour drops. Um, yeah, my overall rate is really high. I, I first impressions, I'm loving this thing, um, and I'm going to be using it for the rest of the night, which isn't going to be long. So I've got to get out for work tomorrow. Um, so yeah, it's not much sleep in for me tonight. Seven hours. In seven hours time. Um, and yeah, I'm still actually getting bent guys sleep yet. So yeah, one of them. Obviously, ones. this is part of Mr. Proton's life. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. Welcome to my world. But um, no, I do, I do. I really like this thing. Um, Yes, yeah, so my overall rating is, 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 is it's like a, it's almost perfect. Honestly, the vape of it is absolutely stunning. It really, really is. And for the price, honestly, please take a punt on it. It's really good. Totally wicked. Dash edict with the coat UK is where I recommend getting it from. Easy wizard. I can't say a bad word about them, but 
Totally yeah. Wicked are really good anyway. Um, so yeah, and obviously for a more expensive site, generally Totally Wicked because it is a more expensive site. Totally, this is cheaper, and this is awesome. I didn't see a link on EC Wizard for the replacement coils. Maybe they're selling it for you to coil yourself, which is why they're charging more for the product. Honestly, yeah. Totally Wicked are going to be making their money off of them coils. They're charging a pound each. Like I said, we've got 200 meters of Canthal for 20 quid. Do you know what I mean? So we basically pay. We'll stick your link for that as well in the uh, description. Yeah, that's a, that's a UK store, but they will ship to the US, okay? I will stick it on straight on the Canthal as well, so you haven't got to go through the site and look for it. It will be straight onto the Canthal. Uh, I will put another link on there because there's obviously the Nichrome wire as well, which you can buy from there, which is equivalent price for the same amount. You can pick your ohmage. There's a lot more ohmage selection in the Nichrome than there is in the Countful. The Countful only comes in 40, 44 point, uh, basically 45 ohms per meter or 80, 78 ohms per meter. Yeah, um, there's the Countful. Um, yeah. The Nichrome, sorry, you can get pretty much anything you want. 44 ohms per meter is 32 gauge Countful. That's what it is. It's 0.2 millimeters of canthole that's what everyone uses to rebuild with go with that all right five or six wraps is going to get something like two and a half ohms so four or five wraps 1.8 ohm at love oh, i coil sorry lovely stuff um it's getting a little bit dry getting a little bit dry okay yeah. but you can see we've been using that for a good 15 mm. minutes now again Possibly whilst longer whilst you're um totally wicked ordering you one of these because i really would recommend you do that um, the uh, a call to action link left hand side bottom of it of all the links on the left hand side sub categories is will be a link as well will, there'll be another link for that as well um, but that is um, basically for the proposed EU directive that basically marks this as medicinal which means you won't be able to buy anything under 4 milligram strength and let's face it you're going to have to vape after later a day do you know what I mean so yeah uh, we'll link you that as well we've explained this in a few videos I'm not going to badger you about it over and over again I'm just going to mention it um and obviously tomorrow, tomorrow we'll come in the Bravari, hopefully, because it should be here tomorrow morning at about 11 o'clock, but the video will be coming about four-ish by the time he gets back around here after he finishes his work. Uh, we're also going to have uh, another, the Ego... We've got the uh, CE8 just been ordered from Music oh, yes, as well. Oh, yes, the CE8. The um, Steel Mesh Clearomizer. So, burnt taste should be a thing of the past. But I've only ordered that today with my... Uh, that won't be until extension late this week, early next week. Yeah, yeah it'll be Friday or possibly Monday, Tuesday. So, so. That, but that's coming as well. So we're going to do a review on that for you guys as well. So hopefully, if you've been thinking about that as well, sweet. If not, if you haven't heard about it, it's a clear miser, the same size, shape, and everything else is a V3. I believe you can even use the same bodies if you've got different color bodies you like using. Same drip tips if you've again got them. But the Atty um, is still mesh. Um, so it comes still mesh. So. Comes, yeah. So if if it, if it's all good, then it could be fantastic. Could be the next gen of clear misers and the way that it they're could all be better move. than the uh, Nova. It could be because obviously no burnt tape you can whack out as high as you want get as much vapor out of that as you want to get and obviously I mean you also have to tailor it for the flavor and that but vapor obviously generally the higher the voltage the more vapor you can get so as well as flavor as, I mean you can adjust your throat and stuff even more so um, the we've had a little look and the replacement works for that are only £2.50 as well so but we'll go into that type. in the review um, but yeah yeah overall this DDA wicked definitely a big thumbs up from me for that um, and like I say, we'll get a video out for you as well uh, in a couple of days time, probably having lived with it, do you know what I mean? The aftermath and all this kind of stuff. Um, any issues may flag up, should have flagged up within that point and it will be well bedded in so we can tell you what happens once that's done. Um, yeah, cheers for watching guys. Hope this was in some way helpful. It was not planned, it is quite late, so excuse us. You can rate, um, comment, subscribe if you like. Please, yeah. We don't force it, we don't care. Please. We're doing this for our enjoyment as well as yours and if you like the videos come yeah, back trying to help but we post as often and as regularly as we can we probably uploaded about 15 videos in the last two weeks so well no, no it's not 15 it's just like eight i think it is well there you go but we can obviously have provari uh, two eight. two ego batteries that are obviously one is still just a standard 3.7 but it's a different it's just a style which is just going to be on the end of the uh, uh ego twist which obviously we've got to do a whole review on so that's going to be in that one with it at the end. So that's another two videos coming. You've got guaranteed tomorrow. Um, then we got CEA coming. Follow up to that. We've got a Vamo and Argo Vamo. to do for you. Um, we've got quite a few videos coming, guys. So yeah, please rate, comment, and subscribe if you like. And stay tuned. Um, anything you want to know, if we can help out anyway, just uh, 
Ooh, drop it in the box. <laughs> Way, <laughs> drop it in the box down there. We keep an eye on these as much as possible. We, we check get it. Back to you within he a few checks hours. it most of the time during the day because obviously when I'm at work, he checks it. But we both check it three or four times before go out of bed and whatever. We we check it whenever we can, really. So um, yeah, we'll get back to you as soon as we can. But we'll link all those things. We'll link tightly wicked for you, call to action, and the link for this as well. Um, we'll also link the Canthar wire site and the Nikram wire site to the same site as well as the call to action from Totally Wicked and we'll probably chuck a link to E6 store as well uh, sorry E6 store e6wizard.co.uk uh, we'll chuck a link down there as well they also sell this under a different name that's slightly more expensive but that is the place that sells the CE8 uh, still mesh clear and so if you want to have a look at that yourself you're more than welcome to do so yeah I believe it's under accessories and then CE8 CE8 SS mesh clear and Right, so um, thanks for watching guys, I have been Mr Proton, he has been The Worm, um, hope you enjoyed, thank Catch you very much, soon. catch you soon.